You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, CBS Soap Opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we've got your latest Young and the Restless promo video for the week ahead. And this video centers completely on Sally and Adam and Nick with a little slice of Victor. And it is about the baby that she is carrying in her belly. They have the ultrasound this week, and they're going to find out the sex of the baby that she is going to give birth to. We're going to tell you what's in the promo. We're going to break it down for you so you know how it relates to the official spoilers. And then we're going to show you the promo. So hang on tight for all that. If you haven't already clicked subscribe, please do that now so that you don't miss any of your top Young and the Restless spoilers and news updates right here from Soap Dirt on YouTube. So there are five scenes in this new promo that covers the week ahead and it's really exciting. It looks like they're not going to show the actual ultrasound. At least they're not showing it in the promo. So I assume that they're probably going to skip that and they're just going to discuss the aftermath because scene one is Sally and Nick in her new room over at the GCAC, the Genoa City athletic club and she's looking at ultrasound photos and says that perfect little everything talking about their baby and then adam is clearly there because the next scene is him saying i can't believe we're having a little baby girl and then nick kind of looks askance because he doesn't like adam using the word we no doubt the third scene is victor and nick and victor is ranting at nick about sally has the both of you where she wants you she's playing you the next scene is nick fully outraged as only Nick Newman can do, saying, why can't you just focus on the fact you have a new granddaughter coming and quit playing these games? And the last scene is Victor in shock asking granddaughter. So let's talk about what this means. So there's this ongoing dynamic. You know, Adam is madly in love with Sally. He wants to be with her. He wants to raise this baby with her, but she has made it clear she's staying with Nick. So Adam is biding his time and playing the long game because he truly believes that Nick does not and cannot ever love Sally. He has told Sally this, not maybe to be hurtful, but also just to be honest with her, that he has told her that Sharon is Nick's soulmate and he will never love her the way that he loves Sharon. And what's also apparent here, Nick has never told Sally he loves her. So every day that he doesn't say he loves her, that he is not in love with her is another day where it should be reminding her of Adam's words. So Nick is really happy to be involved with this, but Nick's involvement with it is also pretty weird because Nick is raising one of Adam's sons already, Adam's biological son, Christian Newman, because Nick had thought for a second that that was Sage Newman's daughter with him, but it was actually Adam's. And then of course, Sage died. So so it's, it's all very messy. Adam is really excited because, you know, he's not had a daughter and this is big news. And so he is over the moon. And I think he is convinced that at some point Nick is going to lose interest and wander away and then he'll be able to scoop Sally up. He still wants to marry her. He's proposed more than once. Nick has proposed zero times. Then let's dig into this whole thing with Victor and Nick that comes next. Already Adam told Victor about Sally being pregnant and he said, I still love her and I want to be with her. And Victor's not happy about it, but you know, if it'll make Adam happy, maybe he's willing to be flexible, but he definitely doesn't want Sally involved with both of his sons. And that is what it is now. And that's why he is upset because he thinks that Sally is stringing them both along. Like maybe he might be more accepting if she was just with Adam or just with Nick, but with this baby and then entangling, he does not want both of his sons you know, going down this rabbit hole with her. And he again says she's playing you. He likes to call her that carny, referring to her background where her parents were carnies and con people. And she is very insecure about this pregnancy because she did not grow up with decent parents. They drifted around and then I think her parents got arrested and then she went to live with her aunt who raised them. So it's messy, messy, messy. And she's committed to being a good parent. And both Nick and Adam have been encouraging her that despite her background, she can certainly do this. But but if Victor is constantly undermining her, it's going to be a problem. And then Nick blows up. And the thing with Nick Newman, if you're a long time Young and the Restless watcher, is this. If you tell Nick he can't do something or can't have something or needs to do something, it really doesn't matter what it is. He will stick out that lower lip. He will make that 
pouty, stubborn face of his and he will dig in. Even if it's the best thing for him to do, he won't do it because he is a stubborn goat and he does not like ultimatums and he does not like being bossed around and he will have a little tantrum and then he will do the exact opposite of what he's been asked or told to do. And so what's interesting here is with Victor hitting at him and basically trying to get him away from Sally that he might inspire the opposite emotion and Nick might actually do something crazy like I don't know, finally say he loves her, whether he does or not. Maybe he'll propose to her just to kind of clap back on both Adam and Victor. There's really no telling. And at the same time all this is going on, the background noise from the official CBS spoilers is that Victor and Adam have struck a bargain. Tucker McCall can't get Devon to buy his company, and so he sells it to Victor. And Victor wants Adam working there as CEO, and he wants to pull Nick away from Victoria, where where he's working as her COO and he wants Nick to be Adam's COO. But it seems like a fool's game pulling Nick in to work with Adam when Sally is still a woman of common interest when he wants her out of both his son's lives. However, what's interesting is when Nick goes off on him in these scenes from the promo and says, can't you just be excited you have a granddaughter coming? Victor's shocked and is like, granddaughter? And then his tone almost changes. And of course, he has granddaughters already, but the idea of a little baby girl Newman, you know, especially because Adam is his namesake and Adam has two sons, one that he shares with Chelsea and that's Connor Newman and then one that Nick is raising Christian Newman, but Adam has never had a girl child and so this is Victor getting a granddaughter from his namesake son, the black sheet son that he you know, adores and keeps wanting to pull back into the family despite the rest of the family not wanting him around. So we have to wonder if this rev- revelation that a granddaughter is coming could be a game changer. But we are also going to see this week in official CBS spoilers that Victor confronts Sally. And we talked about this in another video. You can check on our why in our playlist where we were wondering how Victor is going to try and deal with Sally. If she wasn't pregnant and she just had both of his sons on the line, he'd probably just pay her a few million bucks to head out of town and hope she would do it. But with her carrying a Newman granddaughter in her belly, Victor Victor is going to want that child to stay in town, but the best case scenario for him might be to talk Sally into leaving. So maybe he will offer her millions and millions of dollars to leave the baby with Adam and take a hike out of town to live her life. We'll have to see how this confrontation goes down, but it's not going to work out the way that Victor wants. And the very fact that he is confronting her is probably going to further anger Nick and it could have Adam rethinking the deal he's made with his dad. So that's what you're going to see. And that's kind of our breakdown on how it ties to the official spoilers. And then hold tight, be ready to watch the promo. We're about to show it to you. If you haven't already clicked the subscribe button, bop that button right now so that you don't miss any of our big Young and the Restless and other CBS soap opera updates on Soap Dirt at YouTube. And now check out the latest Young and the Restless spoilers for this week. Promo playing now perfect little everything. I can't believe we're having a little baby girl. She has both to be where she wants you. She's playing you. Why can't you just focus on the fact that you have a new granddaughter coming and quit playing these games? Granddaughter? 